Hey there, today we're going to look at a Everlast Red Saber 1500, their new laser line. So we've got the power source down below there, wire feeder up above. This will hold your full size spool of wire, it's got a 11 pounder in there right now. Uh, a couple different drive rolls there. And just want to walk through a few of the consumables that come with it. So here we've got instruction manual, uh, all the different outside corners, inside corners, um, all the different consumables that you get in that starter kit there. Got all your protective lenses, and then also you got an extra focusing lens there. This is your laser cleaning consumable. Uh, when you take everything off the front of your gun, that's what's left. And so here is a look at the gun itself. So it's got a sheath on there and everything. This conduit is removable. So if you're only using the cleaning part of it and you're not using the welding part, then this guy just threads off right there. This end spins off. You can pull that off and install this guy right there and so that changes your uh, gun from a cleaning to a welding and then this is adjustable depending on the the end that you put on there as well as kind of joint configuration this slides in and out it's just a collet that's kind of in there it tightens up and then here you can see you got quite a bit of adjustment for that um, in the box as well i kind of empty everything out here but we've got a series of different drive rolls they go all the way up to 16th, um, go all the way down to 030. Uh, this is the handle assembly. If you were not doing the wire feeder, that bolts to the top of it. And then uh, got a communication cable as well as a uh, door safety switch. And so we'll walk over here and kind of look around the back side of this machine. I'm gonna turn it on now. It's kind of, the fans make it a little bit noisy. But, got a series of fans coming out the back right here. Uh, these are my communication cables between the two, so you could remotely locate that cable. Uh, power on off. Um, that's my 220 single phase input right there. And then we've also got a safety clamp or ground cable um, gas in. So, in this case, we're running off of a nitrogen, we're doing some stainless. You would also run a compressed air for cleaning. And then up top here, we've got a remote pendant so that we can go through and change settings, um, do that kind of stuff. So right here, you can see I'm running 700 watts um, is what I'm doing for like, some 18 gauge stainless. And then your wire feed speed uh, takes place on this panel here, so you can bump up or bump down. In this case, it's uh, metric, but anyway, that gets the point across there. And then down below, uh, key on. Um, if we had that door safety switch installed, then uh, that would give us a signal, so that's okay. And then, of course, an e-stop off. So I can also turn off wire feed independently. So if I was just doing cleaning, then of course I can do it that way. Key turns the whole thing off. If you want to switch between cleaning and welding, uh, you do have to power off the machine and crank it back up again. So in this case, um, our nitrogen we're running at, well I should have had it set at about 40 cubic foot. Is kind of where that, that is, uh, just like your welding gas. And so that blows through here, comes out and uh, gives you your protection on it. So got a tiny little weld there. You can see almost no coloring. Um, I actually took this one and bent it over that fillet and then bent it back and uh, couldn't get it to break up. So anyways, that's a quick rundown there of the Everlast 1500. More to come.